I'm shooting this video on a tripod that I made with stuff I had laying around the garage. Watch, and I'll show you what I did. So in the beginning, my tripod was this. And it used to be a monitor stand. This piece here that I'm holding, it was longer and it had a screw on two sides. And this mounted to a wall, like so. And your monitor mounted on this end. So I cut off that end just to give me a bit more flexibility and turning it upside down. And this I could articulate in all kinds of ways. I added one of these. Just, you know, the simple stupid ones that uh, plug into your car vent. And I took this articulating arm off of a, uh, a mount off of an old uh, satellite stereo receiver that was in the car. And I just tapped and threaded the hole and threaded that in. It worked good. But you can see springtime. Springtime's coming. And with the springtime comes a lot of outside stuff. And being that I'm outside, I'm not always going to have a place to put this handy dandy little tripod that I made. So I need a stand up one. So this is what I have. Picked up this selfie stick at a thrift store and figured that's not bad. But everything I do, I need my hands free selfie stick just really isn't practical so I rummaged around the garage I find this hmm I remember it was years ago and the fan of course was broken took the fan apart and I just kept this stand around because that I really don't know why but it's been hanging out in my garage for at least five years okay that's a good step step two Hmm, I need it a little longer. So, here's a fiberglass extension pole. About 25 years ago, Canadian Tire was clearing these out. I paid 99 cents for this, and it extends from, extends almost to 12 feet. Anyway, I picked up about 10 of them, and I've used them over the years for all kinds of things. And Actually, they make great extendable holders, and I, I hang my chairs on them. I, I do all kinds of stuff with them. So I figured this, this is the sweet part. So I'm going to take this, and this, I slide it over. And these little cranks here are really handy. I'm going to tighten it up. That's good. That's going to work out just fine. I'll grab this handy dandy little plant. There's the price tag there. Three dollars. Okay, three dollars for this. That's the trick store. And Bob's your uncle. This is awesome. And you can actually see how it's going to be. Let's put this on here. Lift it up. Bob's your uncle. So now, when I have to go somewhere, let's say, uh, let's say I want to shoot a video of us uh, shoot a video of us cleaning out our herb garden. I'm gonna do this. Hey, look at there's the herb garden. We can angle it, put it down. And we can even adjust a bit of the tilt. Turn there. And there we go. 
now we've got a really active frame that we can shoot our video in. We can picture it now. Life and I on our knees, dig it in the garden. Can't wait. This tripod is going to save me a ton of time. I get to see how it's going to pan when I'm carrying it like this. I come around, past my muddy truck that I was out in the field with yesterday. Put it back here, tilt it back a bit. Like so. And there you have it. It's a little bit bulky, but when you're working outside and you're basically in one area, set this sucker up, you don't have to worry about it. Well, that's what I have for you. Basic, simple little tripod with whatever I had laying around the house. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up downstairs. Subscribe to the channel. And we've got lots, lots of other videos coming up. And what's there, take a look around. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.